So as you can see behind me, we are getting a tour of the Johnson Space Centre. We're getting to see Mission Control, and I'm currently standing in the Mission Control room where Apollo 13 went from. Now, 10 years ago, I was lucky enough to see the actual Apollo 13 movie right here in the control room, and it was incredible. So it's really cool to be back in here almost a decade later, and it's just not changed a bit. It's absolutely amazing. We're in the Apollo Mission Control Room. That's, that's what you can say, really. <laughs> Just to describe it, it's yeah. just insane how, like, this is the place. This is just this so is important. And, yeah, and it's just amazing to be here. And Hi, my name's Patrick Buzzard. I work here at NASA's Johnson Space Center. We went to the Mission Control Center, so they got to see the current ISS Mission Control viewing room. We saw astronaut Scott Kelly actually up on the screen getting ready to do a, uh, we heard he was getting ready to do an interview with the White House. So that'll be interesting to see when that airs. Oh, just, it was like amazing. <laughs> it's like, wow, we're here. This is like, like, we've seen pictures of this and now we're here. It's just, it's absolutely, it's so awesome. It's so cool. Yeah. After we left the mission control room, we went to Building 9, which was the Space Vehicle Mock-Up Facility, and we got to go inside some of the training facilities there, and also we had a tour from one of the robotics experts, and a couple of the students were lucky enough to be in an in a advanced uh, uh, Mars rover vehicle. So I just had to get a go in the, um, one of NASA's robot cars, and the four wheel wheels move at the same time. And I've seen it so many times in videos and on TV, and I can't believe I actually just got to ride on it because I want to do a degree in mechanical engineering, and that's where he builds things. So, oh, it's just amazing. It was so inspiring. And from space cars to regular buses, we were off to the final stop on our tour. Yeah, right now, as you can see, we're in the Neutral Buoyancy Lab. This is actually the second largest pool in the world, indoor pool. This is where all of our astronauts train to prepare themselves to do an EVA or an extravehicular activity. So they would train up to eight hours in the pool for every one hour that they would be outside the vehicle. It's astronauts, but it's also the safety swimmer. They, each astronaut will have a couple swimmers with them that would help get them ready for to the training run. Uh, you would also have a, a camera swimmer, and so they, they rotate the swimmers in uh, two times per the run because even though the water is in the 80s, it's still you can get uh, you can get cold and hypothermic. So we had uh, Space Cowboys did some uh, filming here, and I think Armageddon did some filming here as well. So NASA's fortunate we have a pretty good relationship with Hollywood. And the public, if you can see in the very background, people that take the Space Center Houston tour can go up on the catwalk, but no, we, this is a special treat for our students, and we are glad that the Scottish Space School is able to come out here and, and give these guys a chance to see it. I've been a swimmer for many years and to finally get to see this in person, I've looked at many pictures, training videos, it's really incredible. Um, we've got a couple of swimmers and you could actually almost feel them wanting to jump into the pool earlier. So he was begging for us to push him in but we wouldn't let him. So. He brought you swimming stuff and he's gone. <laughs> he's really ready. Unfortunately I have to be a qualified diver. And neutral buoyancy lab was my favourite bit. The robotics was yeah. unbelievable. Robotics Getting to drive cool. around in the robo car was unreal. Uh, for me personally, I think education is critical. Uh, actually, from the agency's perspective, NASA is very supportive of education programs. We want to try and motivate students to focus on science, technology, engineering, and math because we know those are the hard ones, but they're also the most critical. So we finished off our tour of the Johnson Space Centre here at the Neutral Buoyancy Lab and I am still as impressed by this pool as I was the first time I came. It's just absolutely incredible. The students have all had an amazing time. They have been thoroughly inspired by all the NASA employees and everything that they've seen here in the Space Centre is so, so cool and it's just so refreshing to see. It's making me even more excited and more motivated as well.